Stampers, it's a pretty exciting day for me today because I am getting ready to go to Amsterdam for Stampin' Ups! On Stage Live that starts Thursday afternoon and I will be attending that through Saturday but I'm actually going early and staying a little late to maybe get a chance to see some tulip fields and uh, a, fun, a lot of the other fun adventures in Amsterdam. But before I go, I wanted to give you an Easter card idea and kind of share with you the ins and outs of getting that fun diagonal cut from different prints in your designer paper. And what's fun is you have so many prints that coordinate with each other in each pack that the sky's the limit on what you can do with this. So come on, let's get started. So here's the card idea again before I show you what to do. And so first you need to pick which two patterns that you want to use from your designer paper. I loved how the back side of this one coordinated with the front side of this one and vice versa. And so really you can do it either way with these two prints. But I, for now, I am going to show you how to do it with the um, Sweet Sugar Plum, couldn't think of that. And with the Sweet Sugar Plum gingham on the back side. And so what I did first was cut a strip so I can make multiples of these out of my paper. That is five and a quarter. And then I cut it into four pieces that are four. So four by five and a quarter. When you go to do your measuring, you're gonna to wanna to flip the one to the side that you're gonna do it. And depending on if you want a diagonal that's going from the top at the right side going down or vice versa. You can do it either way you want. There's no right or wrong, but I'm going to stick to the way that I did on the card that I showed you. So you're going to, I'm going to measure both pieces at the same time. I'm just going to take my ruler and mark a one inch point on that side and then flip it all the way around and do a one inch point on that side. And the reason you want it flipped is because you're going to want these to be opposite each other when you go to put them together. Then I'm going to put those two marks. And you can see I've got my mark right in the center of my cutting path. Get my score blade out of the way. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cut both at the same time. So now I've got a nice diagonal. And that one will just flip. And there's one card. And there's my second card. And, and so then, because I've cut them at four and five and a quarter total, these will just fit nicely on the front of my card, like so. And then how I applied the ribbon, you don't need to have the ribbon. You could use even a strip of cardstock or whatever you want that coordinates, but I chose to use ribbon. What I simply did was took a piece of tear and tape and ran it across that seam and then took my ribbon, ran it across there, and I just let it hang over just a little bit and then snipped it off with a good um, scissors that works good for cutting ribbon. So there you have it. There's the card once again. So it's fast and easy. That ribbon stays put because I put the tear and tape under it, and I've got a great card that I can send out for Easter. Thanks so much for stopping by. I hope you'll give this paper cutting idea a try.